A senior tennis team from Idaho Falls took the national tournament by storm last month. And the game has given a few of the guys a new opportunity at their youth. Kent Wadups is a youthful 64 years old, and he plays tennis with the use of just one eye. Just a torn retina and about four or five operations that went south, but uh, glad the Lord give us two. Wadups began playing tennis about four years ago after his surgeries in 2007. When you only have one, the ball comes real fast, and you got to try to adjust for it without the other eye. Joining him on the team is Doug Nelson at just 67 years young. I've had uh, three heart attacks, one triple bypass and cancer surgery. Nelson says he got back into tennis about a year ago, just six months after his triple bypass. When you contemplate your mortality, it's good to focus on other things. Together they joined five others on the Apple Athletic Club's senior tennis team. They are Ray Gordon, Reuben Wilson, Jim Miguel, Roger Raymond, and John Russell, all coached by Holger Nickel. At this age, they're still willing to learn, which is exciting for me because that's what I do is I help them learn. After winning state and regional tournaments, these young men from eastern Idaho made their way to surprise Arizona for the national tournament in late October. With their record there, they are now you know, firmly uh, entrenched as one of the top ten teams in the country. Uh, around ninth place. Uh, we, we couldn't get past uh, California and Alabama, but we did get past uh, two or three other states and had a lot of fun. But perhaps their winning record came second place to the bonds this team made. It's just been exciting to be around a group of people I don't usually uh, have the opportunity to associate with. It gives you something to do rather than just sit home and watch soap operas, you know, and, uh, and it's good exercise. The participation is really more important than the victories, and yet picking up a few wins is always fun. They're from all walks of life. Here they have a common goal, and they started out, and they worked hard, and they deserve what they got. And great to see them out there still playing. Now, Sportsline's top plays of the week will be our after the break.